lovely people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to do some gelix nails using some products i got from amazon and timu um i recently got in this cordless rechargeable motion censored gooseneck lamp let me see if i can get it to turn on yeah, you guys see, it's motion sensor, so when you put your hand in front of it, the light turns on and you can cure it. And I just thought this was like a huge game changer for doing press-on nails and for doing gel -X nails. And so, I do have my full unboxing of this. I got this from Timu, actually. Um, so, I'll leave the link in the description box for not only the product, but also that haul unboxing. And I also saw that this is available on Amazon as well, so I'll leave the link to it on Amazon, also in the description, but I absolutely love this lamp. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I also recently got some of these full cover uh, prep soft gel tips. Um, this is from Model Ones, and this was on sale for $3.99, you guys. And it comes with 480 nail tips with four different colors and 12 different sizes. And so this set of um, Gel X nails or press on nails, it's really good for when you just need to do a quick mani. And I'm in a position right now where I need to do a quick mani. And I don't really mind if it mat if it lasts or not because um, I also need to switch my nails out in a couple of days. But I just wanted to show you guys um, what all colors come in this kit. Again, it's four different colors that come in one kit. So I'm going to show you guys here on my palette what all the different colors look like. So we got a light pink. We got a nude. And then we got white. And then we got black. If I get a black up in here. Okay, so these here are the four different colors that it comes with. So again, it's like this uh, light, it's like a, a pinky nude, uh, a brown nude, um, a white and a black and these are all staple colors that you'll always need and so I thought it was really cool that they created a kit like this because again when you just need some nails pop on and be on the go uh, this is kind of what you're looking for you're looking for something quick something easy something simple and what's really cool about these nails too is you can always paint over them with a different color so say if you wanted to do red nails or orange nails or purple nails you still have a good solid base right to um, go in and you know add color on top but this gives you something quick and easy to do so um i want to show you guys how they fit my nail bed so these particular nail tips unfortunately on my thumbnail they don't fit the absolute best um it's not exactly sidewall to sidewall well actually now that i've prepped my nails maybe it is actually the fit on these are better than i thought this is zero right okay well cool Look, y'all, I had just um, <laughs> I just matched these to my nails, and I'm like, oh, it don't even really fit sidewall to sidewall. I thought there was more gap, but I also just clipped my nails down underneath and prepped my nails for application, and that made a huge difference. So you see, there's just a little bit of space right here where it doesn't meet sidewall to sidewall. Same thing on the other side, but um, once you press it on with the with the gel, I mean, I think you'll you'll be good to go. No one to be able to tell. So nice fit to these nails. They are very flexible here at the cuticle area. There's some little bit of strength here at the tip of the nail. It's not the strongest press on nail I've ever used, right? But it's also not the worst. And a couple of layers of base coat, top coat, strengthen the nail right on up. So I thought this was a great steal for $3.99. You get almost 500 nail tips in all the colors that you would possibly need them in. So that was what the nude looked like. Um, let me go ahead and move this over to the side. Okay, so this here is what the black looks like right and then that's what it'll look like on the nail bed right and i get the question a lot how do you know when you're able to use gel x nails um how, when, how do you know when you're able to use a full cover tip to do gel x nails a trick i like to use is, is if you can see your natural nail through that nail tip so you see when i move my nail you can see my nail tip underneath the black that means it's not fully opaque right meaning that the the gel so the light can get through the nail and will cure the gel if you can't see your nail through the press on you cannot use it to do gel x so even though these are black yes they're not fully opaque meaning that you can still use it for gel x nails i know i get that question a lot so that's the black this here is like that uh, kind of peachy nude or oh, brownish nude that's a really really pretty look at that okay this is be this would be perfect if you wanted a nice base for some french tips okay um but same deal um fit is really nice okay and same deal you can see my natural nail through that press on right and because you can see it through that nail that means you can use it to do gel x and this here is the white one okay same thing you see how you can see the nail through 
as long as you can see the nail through the nail tip you can do gel x so and that's how this one fits here super cute nails right love it so i'm gonna do a quick set with these you guys i feel like doing some i want my nails done and i need them done quick fast and in a hurry so i do have these that i'm going to be doing my nail so that's that. Last but not least, I'm actually going to be applying them using a slightly different method. I'm going to be going in with this canny new this canny collection. And what intrigued me about this is that it's a brand from Amazon. It's um, HEMA free and vegan. And so I wanted to see what I wanted to see what this would be like using it for to apply my gel X nail. So typically, this is what you will need. Okay, so typically this is what you'll need to do gel X nails. You'll need some type of base or nail glue or whatever. You'll need something like that and then you'll need uh, a top coat. And so I am going to be using this little kit here. So, and this was only $5 and some change. This was five and some change, so say $6. This here was $3.99, so nine. So we're looking at $11 right now. And then this lamp was like $12, $15, right? So for under 20, 25 bucks, this is a whole little gel X kit, you guys. And I'm just trying to show you different ways to save a little coin, okay? And so that is that. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this, these gels are looking like. Um, I've used this top coat before and I actually really like it a lot. I used it recently to do some um, press on nails and I loved it. So this is, I actually went back and ordered two more of these because I really love that press on. I mean, I really love that top coat. So let's start with the base coat here. It is a 9 ml bottle. And like I said, it's HEMA free, which is what really intrigued me about this brand. And it's from Candy. And I like the, the packaging, glass bottle, got this, got the branding on the side, got this like kind of diamond cut for the handle, got the base coat label here at the top, has the ingredients on the back. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm liking the packaging. So let's take a look at the formula here. So yeah, it's pretty thick. So it's like a medium viscosity, but what's interesting about it is that it feels loose. It feels loose, but it's really thick. And I don't know if that makes sense or not. So you see like it's not dripping very fast, but it's also not dripping very slow. It's, I don't know, it's, it's a medium viscosity, but it has like a really, really thin, thin texture, a thin formula to it, which is really nice. And another thing I absolutely love about this is that brush. I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful this brush is. Um, I don't know if this is like a Kalinsky brush that's made for gels. I don't know, but that that cut, that, that triangular cut in it is really, really nice because it gives you a lot of control when you get close to the cuticle and sidewalls when you're doing your application. So that here is the base coat. And then they have a diamond top coat. And like I said, I've tested this. I've done a two-week wear test with it. It's, it's great. It's scratch-free. Um, it works really well. So this here is side of the bottle again. It's also 9 ml and um, it's HEMA free. So let's see what this is looking like. Yeah, look at that. It's the same formula actually as the base coat. Actually, this one's a little bit looser. You see how it's kind of dripping a little bit faster? Okay. It, it dripped a lot faster than the base coat. It feels thin, but is of a medium viscosity. So you still got a lot of control over it. And again, that, that brush that comes on these, absolutely amazing, you guys. Like, it is so good. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like the cut of this brush is amazing. Like it gives you so much control over the product. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into the application, you guys. So I have already prepped my nails, okay? And I um, went in, I pushed back my cuticles. I pushed back my cuticles, file shake, buff my nails. I do have a full dedicated video that shows you guys how to prep your nails for applications like that. I'll leave it down in the description box below. And so after you prep your nails, you wanna go in with a dehydrator. I'm gonna be going in with my Young Nail Swipe, okay? After your nails have been dehydrated, next you wanna go in with primer. I'm gonna be going in with my Young Nails Primer. And I'm only going to go in with one coat of this. So now that the primer has been applied to all of my nails, next I'm going to go in with my peel off base coat. This is my all time favorite peel off base coat, you guys. I want these nails to last about a week, week and a half. 
Um, with the primer, they're going to last longer, but I'm also going to be testing out a debonder to see if I can get them to come off a little bit quicker. But I'm going with one thin coat of my peel off base coat and a little of this stuff goes a long way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. This is what the nails are looking like after that peel off base coat has been applied. And next I'm gonna go in and size out all the nail tips. I've already done that off camera just to save a little bit of time, but this is what they all look like sized out. And then um, what you wanna do too for better adhesion with these nails, you wanna go through with your um, a nail drill and just go ahead and etch the inside of these nail tips. I've already done that off camera, but these particular tips actually did come pre-etched. I forgot to show you guys that. Let me show you real quick. This is one of the nail tips straight out the box and you all can see that the inside of it, you see how the top part of it is shiny and then the bottom part of it is matte. They actually come pre-etched already, which is another great feature of these nail tips, but I still go in and etch it on top of that just to be on the safe side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with application. So, what you want to do is you'll take your nail tip, um, and I have my gooseneck lamp here. I'm just going to have it off to the side right here. Um, and what I love about this is there's been so many times when I was getting ready to do my gel X application and I forgot to turn the light on. You know when you have it positioned real nice and then all of a sudden like <laughs> you forget you turned your lamp on and then you got to move it and then you mess everything up. Look at this. See how the light turns on right as I come underneath it. I don't know if you guys can see that it's on right now. I absolutely love this so it's gonna make doing gel X nails so much easier but first I'm gonna go in with that base coat like I said I'm gonna do this application using this base coat first time trying this out so we'll see how it goes okay um so this is essentially gel X application with just like a regular base coat okay you'll go in and apply the gel inside the nail okay and with gel X you don't really need a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the inside of the nail where I know it's gonna meet my nail bed okay and then I'm just going to leave just a smidge extra product there at the cuticle. So that's all I'm using for this application. Go ahead and bring my light into frame like so. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up right at the cuticle. Okay, is that in frame? Okay, line it up right at the cuticle like so. Let the gel go down to the end and then cure. Look, look at that. Why is my life so easy now? I love it. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it cure for, I'm gonna do like 20 seconds instead of just the 10, 15 like I normally do. Oh, I love this. And so boom, the nail is on. Look at, y'all see how fast that was? Stop playing with me. <laughs> Stop playing with me. So, I'm gonna show you guys that one more time. So you'll take the nail well. And again, you just paint the inside of the nail essentially where your nail is going to meet um, the full cover tip and then all I'll do is put just a little dollop of gel right there at the tip right there don't need a lot just a little goes a long way bring your lamp to you again you'll flip it over I normally slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle so I'll slightly tuck it allow the gel to flow down and then cure look at y'all why is it so easy to do though oh my gosh if y'all struggle with gel X nails, this little lamp here, game changer, okay? Game changer. Wow. I love it. And again, I'll cure for like 15, 20 seconds. It's nice. You don't have to worry about that little tiny lamp getting it right underneath it perfectly. Forgetting to turn it on. I mean, boom. You just pop it under the lamp and go. I love it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Love it, okay? So that's what two of the nails look like. So I'm going to speed through me doing the rest of these and I'll be right back. This is what the nails are looking like. After all the nails have been applied, you'll go ahead and do a full cure underneath your big lamp. And so now I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the finished products. This is the end result that I'm looking to get on this hand. I went ahead and just did it off camera because I'm pressed for time, but I still wanna show you guys how I got here, right? So you saw me apply it, 
Now I'm going to go ahead and um, apply a top coat to the underneath of the nails. Because we applied the nails with base coat, um, it's going to be sticky under there. And you don't want dirt and debris to get stuck underneath your nails. So I'm going to go in with that diamond top coat and just apply it to all of the underside of the nails. Okay, And that's just going to seal in that base coat. It's too much. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so then you'll cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so that is now cured. Now we're gonna go ahead and just slightly shape the nails, okay? And so I'm just gonna take a file and just kind of round out the nail. You know, a lot of times these nail tips, they have like those little, you see it has that little thing there at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and file that away. Give it a nice smooth curve there. Okay, next what you want to do is any glue, any spillage that you had from the application, you want to go ahead and, and separate your skin from it and file it off. You don't want to keep this gel, this cured gel on your skin that could cause allergic reactions and things like that. So I do my best to just kind of peel that gel from my skin and then I'm going to file it off. So I'm underneath to do it over here. Do it here, any places where that gel has touched the skin, so right here, and it normally separates pretty easily, can you guys see that? It separates pretty easily, so you just want to do that on all the nails, okay, and I think I did pretty good on this one, I think there's ever so slight, slight one over here, but not much. Next you want to go in with your drill, I'm going to go in with this Melody Susie drill, I absolutely love this drill, nice and powerful. Okay, and then you turn it on. Okay, and then you'll go ahead and just file off that product. File off that base coat. I have my gel on pretty low, so it's gonna skip. And I have it on low because I don't wanna, you know, hurt myself. It's only on, I think it's only on three. No, it's on five RPM. Okay, so now that that is all done, I'll go in. If there's any spot that I miss that I feel like I don't want to injure myself doing with the drill, I'll just go in with my nail file and go ahead and smooth it on out like that. Okay, so that is that. I'll round that off just a little bit more. Yeah, nails look good. So next I'm going to go ahead and buff the surface of all the nails. All the nails have been buffed. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some more swipe. You can use alcohol. Go ahead and clean off all that dust and debris off the nails, okay? Now, if you wanted to, you guys, you can go in with some base and matte top coat and wear these matte. You see matte versus glossy. Both styles are really cute, I will say. So I'm gonna go in with these stickers that I recently got from um, Enel Couture, one of their scoops. If you guys have missed my scoop hauls from Enel Couture, I am gonna leave the whole playlist down below because I went ham with it, but yeah, he included some of these stickers. It was quite a few of them in there, so I just have a pack open here that I started using. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few on here. Just gonna do some simple abstract. So I think I'm gonna go on with this, this one right here and apply that to the inside of my nail. Okay, so. And I'm actually gonna cut the sticker in half. So I have the sticker here. I'm going to cut it in half because I want to use it on both sides of the nail. It's kind of how I did it with the other nail. I'm going to cut it right here in the middle. Like so. Okay. And this piece right here. I'll use this shortly. I'm just going to let it hang out on my thumbnail here. <laughs> but on this hand here, I'm just going to go. Okay. Camera just cut off on me, y'all. <laughs> 
So on this nail here, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the inside here, right at the middle. Cause I kinda wanna make it seem like the two faces are kinda interacting with each other. So like that. And then just press it down like so. And then this one here that's hanging out. I'm gonna kinda, oops, I'm gonna do something similar here. Actually with this one, I'm gonna kinda kinda have it be a little bit more towards that cuticle. Like so. It's a little bit too close. So I'm gonna put this in at the cuticle here. So right here, I kinda over filed. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I kinda wanna disguise it a little bit. Don't need that I really, I don't know that I need to really worry about it, but it's gonna bother me. So I'm just gonna cover it up with that sticker, <laughs> like so. And then I'll go ahead and just press that all the way down. Okay, that's perfect, okay. So I'll put like another little situation over here and then maybe I'll do two more over here. So over here, I think I'm gonna put that little rose. Let's see. I'm gonna put this rose right here over on this nail. Okay, just something sweet, nice and easy, simple, like so, and press that down, super cute, okay, and then, let's see, over here, I'm going to do a rose and maybe another half face, let's see, or should I do a heart, <laughs> I'm going to do this rose right here, and then we'll put it in like right about here. Okay, and then just press that down like so. And then I'll just do one more here to kind of fill in that space. Not sure what I want to use. Hmm. I want to use another face. I'm going to just use half of this face because I want to use another face on there. I'm going to just cut it here. So I got this little face that I'm going to put on the nail next. Okay, and I'm just going to apply that right over here in this corner, like so. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. So these are the stickers that are on. And so what's left now is just base and taco jaw. So I'm going to go in with that candy base coat again. I'm going to apply that to all the nails. And I do really, really like this base coat. Y'all see how easy it is with this, with the, the rectangular brush, how when you press it down, it kind of fans out and it allows you to kind of get in a cuticle area like so seamlessly. I really like the brushes on these gel, these gel products, this base and top coat, really nice. It has me excited to try more products from this brand. I really love it. Very beautiful. Alrighty, so you'll go ahead and flip your hand for 10 seconds. Allow the gel to kind of self-level. And then you'll cure for 60. Alrighty, so next I'm gonna go in with the Canny Diamond Top Coat, okay? Again, this top coat is just so easy to use. I am loving these Canny products, I must say. I'm new to the brand and I'm loving it. You're absolutely loving it. Yeah, they're so good. Up for 10, cure for 60. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this design turned out. Talk about a quick and easy mani, you guys. This was like a no time to do. I'm loving how this design turned out. I just wanted to do something simple, have some cool little abstract, you know, 
um, accent nails but I really just was feeling a white mani right now so yes I am loving the shape of these nails I'm loving the fit they feel strong and sturdy and even applying it with that that candy base coat I think it's gonna last a while you guys so I'm excited to kind of see how long this this actually holds up I'm hoping to come back and do some updates for you guys um, to see if this application method really holds up pretty good so I'll be back with the update but I'm loving these two products right now and the fact that they're HEMA free it's a pretty big deal and such an affordable price like I said I paid like five six dollars for a base and top coat that's HEMA free I don't think you find that out on the market for that price like that so yeah this is available on Amazon and then these full cover tips y'all 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 see the result do y'all see the result mm hmm y'all see what took place just now so these full cover tips definitely a steal you guys definitely a steal um they should still be on sale for $3.99 i would highly highly recommend these like y'all y'all see how my nails turned out super cute the application method worked the gel is fully cured underneath it and oh my gosh i just can't wait to see how these hold up like i'm just loving this design so far and the biggest star of the show was for sure this gooseneck lamp the fact that this thing is most sense you guys it still just blows my mind like absolutely in love with this now again this i got off timu but i am but i did find it um on amazon as well for a pretty affordable price if i do say so myself so i'm gonna go ahead and link that down in the description box also but yeah y'all what do y'all think about my mani um do you guys have these products are you planning on giving it a try um i'm in love right now i'm in love so yeah like i said i'll let you guys know how it holds up okay happy people i'm back with a one week update it's been exactly seven days since i applied these nails and they are holding on strong you guys um so this is what they are looking like there's ever so slight new growth you can barely notice it it actually looks like I still just did my nails, you guys. Um, I'm loving how it's, ho it's holding up. So overall, there's slight lifting on all the nails. There's really, really bad severe lifting on this thumbnail here. As you all can see, it's coming up. I don't know if y'all can see, like, there's white space where the gel was supposed to be making contact. So this nail is pretty much fully lifted is barely holding on here at the tip so this is going to pop off any day now but with the rest of the nails though lifting not too bad it's ever just so slight lifting here at the cuticle slight lifting at the cuticle at the cuticle at the cuticle same thing on this hand just ever so slight lifting at the cuticle 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 and even on this one the thumbnail is held down pretty strong so only this is the only nail that's really getting ready to feel like it's about to pop off um the underneath of the nails have been holding up really good as well um i think it was a really good idea for me to have top coated the underneath of the nails because there's no dirt and debris getting underneath there so i'm absolutely loving how the nails are holding up how they're turning out not sure how much longer i'm going to have these nails on it's so funny like once i have one nail kind of lifting or about to pop off i'm typically ready to go ahead and just take the set off and do a whole new one um so we'll see if it pops off so we'll see i do have um an event that i'm supposed to go to tonight with one of my girlfriends so um i guess i need my nails done for that so i'll keep them on for at least this weekend i'll keep them on for at least the next couple of days um but yeah we'll see how the rest of this holds up i really like how it's holding up though applying it with that candy base and top coat so far so good it's holding up really well i've been getting tons and tons of compliments on my nails oh my gosh it's so funny like i'll be out in public and i'll just be talking to folks and i'll be like I'll, I'll just be talking on you talking you gesture with your hands as soon as they see my nails they're like oh my god your nails are so cute i'm like oh thank you did them myself <laughs> i always got to throw that in there but yeah i've been getting tons of compliments and i'm loving how these nails are holding up and these model ones nail tips are they're pretty good they didn't seem like they'd be that strong and sturdy but i think after applying the top coat after applying the base coat and the top coat it definitely adds some strength to the nails i mean they're holding up great so yeah so far so good you guys um so yeah i'll be back um with another update soon and then i'll show you guys hopefully in the next update how i remove them but yeah so far so good you guys i, I really like this application method thus far okay happy people i'm back with a quick update and this is what the nails are looking like after two weeks of wear i will say i'm pretty impressed at how long this application method actually lasted using gel x and i just used my candy base and top coat i went ahead and just put it back in the uh, box or whatnot but i used this to apply it and and i used that for the uh base and top coat on top of the nails too as you all can see that top coat held up nicely absolutely beautiful um i didn't actually experience any scratching or staining on these nails with that top coat um only scuffs i did get on it was when i was doing uh, my client's nails and the drill you know slipped and hit my nail uh, but outside of that 
um yeah scratch free you guys um there is a lot of lifting though um this now actually popped completely off i went ahead and reapplied it with some super glue and it's been holding up pretty well um this as you can see very very loose these are ready to pop off this very very loose this very very loose this is ever so slight lifting this one has no lifting but um this also popped off and i reapplied it with some super glue i mean a nail glue uh lifting here lifting here lifting here and lifting here so this is perfect this kind of was exactly what i was wanting to happen with this nail set because now i'm ready to take it off and it's going to be a really easy removal process i am back with a three week update and this is how the nails are looking um y'all can see all of the new growth here now i have had a couple of there's more new growth here 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 and here I have had a couple casualties actually almost all of my nails have popped off at this point I, I just glued these two back on yesterday I glued this one back on this one's about to fall off it's really really bad lifting right here um, this so the only nails that have not fallen off are the index and the pinky on both hands which I'm not sure what allowed it to hold so well um, but I want to go ahead and take these off with you guys on camera um, I've been uh, I've reapplied my nails with this Eno Couture uh, nail glue and it's actually really good. Um, this thumbnail I applied I think about a week ago and it's still on, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, it lasts about like it, it lasts about a couple of days, which is good because when I'm doing my nails like this, I still want to be able to pop it off. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and use this nail debonder. I used this in another video and I kind of want to see how it works with um, popping the nails off. I will say um, I did put peel off base coat on underneath here and I wanted to take them off at week two. I just didn't have time to so I just ended up super gluing them back on for the, I mean I ended up using the nail glue and putting them back on for the rest of the week but I'm so ready for these to come off y'all it's not even funny. So I'm going to go ahead and use this debonder and take it off with you all here on camera. And I did get a suggestion from a subscriber to put this into a dropper uh, bottle, so I'll look to doing that at some point, but right now I'm going to just use it as is. This nail right here is pretty much about to come off, so that's going to be re real easy to take off. So I'm just going to get some of this debonder underneath here so that it can pop off really quick. And I'm going to have my cuticle stick handy. And I'm just going to go around and apply this debonder to all the nails. And I like just getting right up underneath the nails here to get it to loosen up and come off. This stuff really does work though, which I love, you know. I've been so ready to take these off, y'all. I've been getting a lot of compliments on them though. People really like the design. It was cute and simple, but... I've been so ready to do some more designs. I got so many more nail designs in my head that I want to do. I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing it. Life been pretty crazy over here. So hopefully um, I could do my next set here real soon. Let's see. And this one I just put back on yesterday. So we'll see how easy this one is to pop off. Yeah. Once you get up underneath it, get it loose. It's going to be pretty easy to get off. And yeah, see, yep, that popped off pretty quick. Awesome sauce. So it definitely works with nail glue too, because like I said, most of these I've had to reapply with nail glue. And it seems to just be eating that nail glue down and popping right off, which is crazy. I don't know what's in this stuff, but I do like it. I will say that. And all I do is get underneath it and start twisting it back and forth. And I kind of just let it kind of lift off and pop by itself. Look at that. Popped off. Now again, I told you I had to put nail glue on a couple of these nails. So what you're seeing on my nails is residue just from the nail glue, not actual damage to my nails. Because I'll just file this off here shortly. Now this one never actually popped off, which was 
pretty impressive. It stayed on the whole time. Put some right here to eat that down. And this one's pretty much off. Let's see if I could just roll this one off real quick. You break the seal, it pops right off. Yep, oh, that's lovely. Oop, that fell behind my, <laughs> that fell behind my nail desk, y'all. That will pop right on off. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some of this over my whole nail just to get some more of that nail glue to kind of loosen up. Again, I had to go back in with nail glue on pretty much all the nails. So I'm going to get that off my nail bed. And then I'm going to go in with some acetone on a lint free wipe. And just wipe off the surface of all of my nails. Alrighty, so this is what my nails are looking like. They're nice, clean, and healthy. So as y'all can see, um, doing my pop-off method, it really does lead to having some nice, ha healthy nails while also still being able to wear your sets for a long period of time. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I do stand by these candy products. They are actually really, really good. The fact that the base coat lasted two weeks with minimal popping off was pretty impressed with that. These nail tips, as y'all can see, they hold up. They are actually stronger than I thought they were going to be. I saw a lot of reviews on these nail tips saying that they weren't that good. I think they're great. They lasted me just fine. All I did was put a little base top coat on it and they lasted. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to leave everything that I use down in the description box below. And um, yeah, y'all, I'm getting ready for my next Manny. So let me know um, what nail sets you guys are currently wearing because I don't know what I want to do next. I'm up in the air. But yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.